This is the oncoming storm, and we're still making our way through, finishing the dungeon descent, and going on. Our item bag is full. All right, what can we use? Um, thirty percent of the max health on. Let's see, how about you? All right, and then we'll just strike him. So we go into our item bag and pick all champions health up. Do it for, we'll keep the gold one for when we actually need it. Target's damage dealt by. And you always have the choice to drop it because honestly, you do not want to have full because it slows you down. I will, however, keep the Gold Cross, revives all defeated champions with 50% health, just in case things can go awry. All right, there's the Potion of Rage again, defensive team teammates. This one isn't great, the repeating crossbow, because they set it to every 15 seconds, and as you can see, we aren't there. We're not getting to 15 seconds on most fights, but it's finish if we have, get stuck. So we'll take it and run. I don't know what that is. The goal with my dungeon descents is always to hit as few enemies as I can and still make my progress. This one has four blocks. And we'll go with Hawkeye Sight here. Come on, be the boss. Be the boss. They're not the boss. Okay. And it doesn't matter who you are. You get to the point where you're like, I just want to finish. The rewards are simply too good in Dungeon Descent to skip it. You ought to be finishing it every single time. That's why I shared that tip with you. Pick what you need, and roll. But as you've seen, at this point, reduces the attack, defense of all enemies. There we go. One at a time. All right, bottom up. teammates. Okay. Reduces the health of all enemies. That's good.
breaths, okay. And we finally found the boss. We left one unit unfought on this level. And we're gonna move forward with it. That's all right. <clears throat> we're rolling on. Anything good? <sighs> Not really. Biggest problem with finishing off is that it starts to get repetitive, a little boring. But for those of you who have been fighting with Dungeon Descent, wouldn't you rather that? I mean, really, I'll be honest. We may say we want the challenge, but none of us want to go without the rewards. Don't fight if you don't have to. Heal every time you get, you hit one. Pick things that are good for you. Okay. Don't need protection. More damage is good. New, new defense of all enemies. All you're caring about after you have these is increasing your attack and making your people fall, your enemies fall faster. All right. Um, looks like you're our guy. Let's go up here. He'll just open four. Yeah, I bounce around a little bit. The Reaper's Scythe. I always want that. That means that everything will die faster. Again, that's another relic you don't want two of. Tax up 5%. How about you? You'll open four. There's the boss. And we're just making our way through.
don't think we've picked up a cursed scepter yet. Doesn't really matter at this point. In fact, let's see you open five spots. Total damage reduction of all teammates. Okay. I don't think more splash damage helps, but I could be mistaken. And basically you're just trying to make sure you have enough coins to buy every relic that you want. Alright, you unlock six, so let's hit it. of the whole team, and we fight. And even the bosses are just walkthroughs. Didn't give me anything good. Not... Now... Biggest problem with these. We're running four bows. That means you could actually end up with something done just from the bows if you go wandering. So kill them first. Unless you hit the boss. Then you just go ahead and hit him and move. boss is never in the traps. You don't have to hit him. There he is. He's just never in the traps. Oh, Dwarven Shield, 20% damage for everybody, and we're off. All right, what do we got? We got our rewards. I don't even care. And like I said, take them or leave them. 
They're guaranteed intimacy. This has been the oncoming storm. And that's through level 20. We'll close it up on the next one segment. Have a good night.